Alright guys, Matt here. <clears throat> Just uh, letting you guys know what's going on this morning. Um, I will be doing a video that is several parts um, clipped all together into one. This is the first being the first part. Um, I'm headed to a local uh, horror attraction um, located here in town. And I will be going, of course, as myself, Innovative Autopsy. Uh, my business cards and stuff here. But yeah, we're gonna go see uh who knows, maybe we can get some get some ties in with them or something like that. I will continue to keep you up to date as much as possible. Um I won't actually be vlogging at the place because I have never been there before and I hadn't really talked to him about recording video. Uh but stay tuned. And there should be a YouTube video up today with all these clips kinda put together. See you then. What's going on, guys? Uh, I'm out here. Just kind of giving you guys an update. Uh, first off, I apologize that the video is so late. Um, I kind of wanted to do this on the road to give you guys a little bit different of a background to look at because it's every video that I do is like in front of this stuff here. Uh, but I didn't get to. Um, I actually en ended up being out pretty much all day. Uh, but I'll go ahead and update you guys on what I was doing. I got a couple other things tied in this video, but now we're here. So, yesterday I posted a picture on my Instagram uh, of this mask and my business card holder saying stay tuned. Well, uh, which of course we're still about two weeks away from knowing anything that happened or knowing anything coming from what happened yesterday, but I still want to go ahead and fill you guys in on, you know, the ones who... We do care. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I went yesterday and talked to the guys over at uh, Horror at Industrial Park, which is a local attraction where I'm from. And they've pretty much starting from the ground up as far as, you know, their like the place of, you know, where they're holding everything and the people that are doing it. Um, super great guys. Like I said, I met them yesterday. Uh, well, I met the, the owner yesterday, and then a couple of people that applied with me. But I'm hoping, um, not really too big into the whole scaring thing, because it's, you know, I mean, I'm I'm not here to scare people. I'm here to, I don't really know what I'm here for, but, I, you know, I just, I want to do more. I want to, you know, help them branch out and get bigger. And I feel like I could do that a lot more if I was just, you know, more in the background or behind the scenes. Uh, but nonetheless, I applied with him yesterday. So hopefully he said it would be about a two week, two week window before I heard back from him. Uh, by that time, I'm really hoping that we've got more time for like a sit down uh, interview. Um, not really interview, but meeting. Because uh, I definitely want to get some of the ideas and stuff that I have out as far as like what I want to do for them and how you know i want to help so i mean of course you know they'll tell me what they need from me as far as you know working for them and being there uh so we're just kind of going to see how that goes so that's the big thing um i took this mask with me of course because I, I talked to the owner on facebook and you know kind of got a little bit more familiar with him and then met him yesterday brought this mask and he knew who i was as soon as i walked in the door um, so that was pretty cool, and, uh, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that goes somewhere, uh, that'll just be one more thing that, you know, I can, I can put my name on, and we can say that we've done it, so, you know, we'll just kind of have to see how that goes. Um, something else, too, I stated this in, I think, the last video, I have a new sculpt for myself. Um, and again, I, you know, I'm not really sure if I'm going to sell it or not. That's neither here nor there. Uh, this mask is cool. I enjoy it. I really like it, you know, for just something quick that I put together fast enough to get me a mask in here to where I didn't have to wear one of, you know, the, the Slipknot style masks, uh, for the vlogs and for stuff like yesterday and things like that. Um, it's been really nice, but as far as 
you know, it goes, I want to, I want to take it to the next step, I want there to be a version 2, I guess, because uh, as I was, you know, feeling kind of cleaned up and nice looking, I got to bring this guy with me, <laughs> so I had one image going on with me, and then like a completely separate image going on with this one, so I may end up, before that sculpt is finished, making a new one of these as more of like a dressy kind of way, uh, I may like completely redo the paint uh, into something different I of course have to draw it up to kind of figure out what I'm doing um, but I want to have an option because wearing the same mask constantly is just it's taking a toll on it and we are getting to the point to where there's not much left it's splitting in some areas the paint of course is like peeling off um, and this thing is just it's taking a beating and you can tell uh, it's really soft. I'm honestly surprised that it, it's held up as long as it has as far as all the, the pressure and everything else goes. So, in the near future, there may be a new one of these until I get the new sculpt finished, which should be done towards the end of next month. I'm hoping to have it finished and at least one pulled and painted to take with me to Louder Than Life to kind of unveil it at the festival. Um... But with that being said, there are several orders that I actually have on the list right now that I want to get done before the middle of September because I'm thinking about uh, like new stuff and new projects and everything else. So I'm wanting to get all these done before I really start anything else really big because uh, most of the projects and the orders that I have on me right now are going to be pretty huge. Um, but we're going to get them done. Most of them are already halfway there. Uh, I got a couple that I got to do some stuff to and order some stuff for. But most are already pretty much ready to go. I just doing some finishing touches and getting ready to ship them out. Now, for another thing, I have been doing this for a while now. Um, I had really gotten serious about it this last year, as you can tell from my Instagram, because we're almost up to a year's worth of posts. I think we're at almost almost 300 I think we're about 20 or so away from 300 so we're getting pretty close pretty close to a post per day for a year um, and which I'm leading somewhere so just kind of bear with me uh, but I had someone which I already opened the envelope to keep from looking like a doofus on the camera I guess I probably should have had this whole thing like unfolded Bear with me. Okay, here we are. So, as I was stating, we have been doing this for a while. Um, and things like this kind of more and more happen. And it was really shocking. And I really, I never really expected it. Because uh, it is, it's, it's pretty big for me, I guess. But, uh, here you go, check it out. It is the official Innovative Autopsy first ever fan art. Uh, there's the Instagram name of the guy who did it for me. Uh, it's pretty cool, actually. Um, it will go on that wall. The Slipknot hoodie will, of course, come down. But, uh, yeah, so... Innovative Autopsy's got its first ever fan art, which is a huge thing, like I said, for myself more than anything. Because um, it's just a boost, and it kind of lets me know that more people are interested in stuff that I'm doing. So, like I said, that will be hung up on the wall with the jacket. Uh, and, I mean, feel free, you know, to continue to do fan art. It doesn't matter who you are. If you want to send it in, you're more than welcome to. You can always DM me the, uh, the question of sending it to me. I will, of course, post pictures on it on my Instagram. And we'll continue to hang it on the wall. Uh, I may even do like a small video just to kind of uh, show it off, I guess, once you know we kind of accumulate a little bit more. But yeah, I mean, I appreciate it. And I will keep it hanging in this room. Uh, I'm in here pretty much every day, uh, six to seven days a week, 
So the more I have, the more I get to look at, the more I get to enjoy, and the more, you know, I get to thank you guys for continue, continued support on what I do. It's a very strange hobby slash job. Um, and the fact that I have continued followers and I guess fans, I don't really want to use fans because it makes me sound like a huge tool, um, but that's kind of what they are. So just to know that I do have those people out there that, I mean, I don't know, maybe I don't really even want to say inspired because there again, it just, it makes me sound like a huge, you know, just, ugh, anyway, <laughs> But uh, it is cool. It's cool to know that, uh, you know, there's there's people out there that dig what I'm doing. Uh, especially with the orders that keep coming in. Keeps me rolling. Because um, I do do this sort of thing for full time. So it keeps me active. Keeps me going. Uh, keeps me going to the festivals and stuff like that. I actually did get my .5 pants today. So now I have the vest and the pants. The only thing I'm uh, in order for now is the shoes and the shirt that goes underneath the vest. Patches should be on on the way here pretty soon. Uh, of course, I've got the mask after I look like I'm picking my nose. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to be good to go. Louder than life. I really hope you guys are ready. Uh, more than ready. I'm actually continuing to prep my body for... Two more days worth of crazy chaos, and uh, considering that Slipknot will be there, I'm expecting it to be completely nuts. Um, Carolina Rebellion uh, da, 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 was this year was eh, so so. Um, still enjoyed it nonetheless, but of course Slipknot wasn't there, and I was dressed as Slipknot, so you kind of sort of had mixed emotions about it. You know, people, man, you should have been there last year. Well. <laughs> Actually, you should have been there last year because I was there. But, uh, so yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty cool because, like I said, it keeps me doing all this stuff. It keeps me growing and keeps me doing stuff for you guys, you know, because there's a lot of times that I don't, you know, really have the motivation to do it. Um, that's one of the reasons why this YouTube video was sort of delayed because uh, once I got home, I was really tired. I think. I ended up going to sleep around 1 o'clock in the morning, uh, which is not like me. And then I was right back up at 6 um, with, you know, everything else going on, new orders coming in, things like that. So it's it can get a little hectic. But to know that you guys, you know, you send in your fan art, you send in, you know, the comments, the, uh, you know, the continued messages, you know, can you do this, can you do this? And I'm like, you know, sure. And just the orders, the kind words, the comments, the, you know, anything, the likes, even as far down to, you know, just saying, you know, just po like liking what I do uh, means the world because, you know, it means that you looked at it, you liked it. And now, you know, if somebody goes through, sees the things that you like, boom, they're going to see it again. Like you're spreading the word and it, it means it means a lot. And of course, I have continued to talk forever. Uh, we'll be mixing these videos together today because uh, I definitely want to get this video out before tonight. Um, just because I've waited so long. I wanted to get it out yesterday, but I just, like I said, once I actually got home, it just, it was, no, it just wasn't happening. So now that I'm up, uh, more motivated and getting things finished for today I want to get that out to you guys um, again thank you all so very much for everything you do uh, I think we are still around 12 to 13 subscribers we're at like 300 and almost 20 followers on Instagram and I could I don't know how many friends I have on Facebook I don't really pay that much attention but you can always check me out on Instagram on Facebook on Twitter on Tumblr on Flickr and as as far as I know, I think I'm, no, Foursquare is completely out of the thing. I don't even think I have the account stuff for that anymore. So you can just about find me anywhere. Of course, my Facebook and Instagram will be posted in the description below. That's the easiest way to get a hold of me. And stay tuned for more because I want to keep you guys, uh, keep you guys up to date as far as what's going on with the haunted house type deal. Just because... 
why not, you know, uh, I want you guys to kind of follow me and see where we go, so again, I appreciate it from all of us, all of me, Studio 13, everybody who helps, everybody who likes, supports, comments, subscribes, whatever it is, I greatly appreciate every single one of you, stay tuned for more, and we'll see you next time.